नमस्कार वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग दिस इज वेरी यूनिक फॉक डांस कैन यू आइडेंटिफाई दैम यस दे आर भील ट्राइबल ग्रुप्स ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश डू यू नो अबाउट भील्स यस इट इज नोन दैट भील्स आर द डिसेंडेंट्स ऑफ द्रविडियन पीपल एंड द वर्ल्ड Bheel was originated from the word billa which means bow in the dravidian language fine there are also numerous references about bheels a great epic mahabharata reveals that they were admired to the ideology of eklavya history evidences that once upon a time bheels ruled over various territories of southern rajasthan the book N A Akbari author Abul Fazl described Bheels as the most hard working and low abiding people They are the largest tribal groups in the country They are dispersed in Rajasthan Maharashtra Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat Their total population in India is 16,908,907 million nine hundred eight thousand nine hundred seven, whereas five million nine hundred ninety three thousand nine twenty one populations are inhabited in Madhya Pradesh. Bheels are having dark complexion and short to medium of stature. They speak Bheeli dialect in their regions, whereas many Bheels presently speak Hindi. marathi gujarati according to their location in those states previously bheels engaged in hunting and gathering but in the present time their primary occupation is cultivation they grow maize jowar urad moong cotton wheat soybean etc with seasonal vegetables but the landless bheel subsists their daily life by wage laborers animal husbandry grazing of cattle collection of forest products they inhabit in kachcha houses whereas some of bheel families are having pakka houses constructed under government scheme there most of households do not have bathroom and toilet facilities they collect drinking water from well built up under hitgrahi coop yojana scheme of madhya pradesh still some of the families are deprived from electric connection and they use some local equipment such as ardan diya lamp etc for lighting purposes general stores are available whereas health care facility is not existed in village traditional community hall is almost nil but primary schools are available in almost all villages among bhil community nuclear family system is predominant whereas joint family is going to be disappeared patriarchal family is widespread and head of family is father they are associated with both a final and consanguineous kinship relation they are divided into number of clans such as mandod damor bahabor pawara etc they follow clan exomy of marriage many of them still accomplish institutional delivery with the help of village midwives few of the days they celebrate cultural programs after birth of a baby they are the followers of both monogamy and polygamy the age of marriage of boy is around 15 years while girl is around 12 years they arrange negotiation marriage dapa and father of girl demands bride price to the father of boy 
elopement marriage known as bhagoda vivah is also still continued among them widow remarriage levy rate and soro rate are also allowed before death of a person a cracking sound is listened by someone from their household after death neighbors and relatives gather and everybody pours a little amount of liquor into the mouth of dead person and say drink my share after death of adults bill people cremate their dead bodies whereas children and other people who die because of unnatural causes are buried they observe 12 days as polluted period then they organize cultural programs among bhils property is transferred through main line but in case of participation in all socio cultural activities male and female are having equal right it is also noted that parents take very good care of their daughters they politely behave with their daughters as asset because parents get amount as bride price dapa at the time of their marriage but selection of groom is entirely dependent on the desire of parents bhils are well known for speaking their traditional dialect bhili most of bhils use hindi in speaking as well as in writing In the context of arts the famous pithora paintings are used to reflect on the walls of their houses their paintings also imitate water resources animals insect deities etc the sun and moon are frequently characterized through their paintings they also prepare different earthen pots they use bamboo to make baskets and other pots they use clay to prepare dolls turmeric flowers vegetables leaves and oil are used to paint the flowers walls earthen pots etc the traditional dresses of men are angarkha dhoti and gamcha they use turban to cover their heads whereas the traditional dresses of women are ghagra and choli at the time of marriage bheel girls wear red ghagra and choli the traditional ornaments of women are bichhiya or toe ring dhimna binti ogania pejaniya hansli or necklace kasla haar beedi tagli kamkada etc men used to wear finger ring during holi and diwali events marriage birth or any eventful occasions bheels perform bhagoria doha gauri ghumar dance etc and side by side they consume traditional dish dal paniya they eat non vegetarian items like fish meat of chicken sometimes deer and other animals a unique breed of chicken called kadaknath is popular and they drink liquor of mahua flowers traditional implements for bills are bows and arrows they also use sword dagger knife etc they use both metal and traditional earthen hard kadai cup glass vessel etc they celebrate their indigenous fairs and festivals such as bhagoria akhatij savan mata ki jatra divasa navai navratri dashera roop chaudas dipavali gai gauri holi etc with singing and dancing bheels are interested to listen folk tale youth dormitory is rarely existed and nowadays 
they perform religious activities in community hall they worship the baba dev gopal dev bhairav dev and their ancestors with the help of their religious head badwa they are amnestic and respect to various trees like mango amri banana people and ponds lakes rivers animals etc they think that these natural resources are sacred and gods reside there halma is an old tradition of bills where the villagers gather to discuss their problem such as individual issues community issues or other many people gather under the tradition of halma to work together and they have planted more than 11000 trees across their region as they are attached with nature they rarely face health problem if they are affected by any disease they take herbal medicine from their traditional healers in each village there is having a hereditary leader tadvi he is empowered to appoint one or two subordinates and organize the local panch or village assembly this body investigates socio culture disputes and take necessary actions but nowadays modern politics are existed in every region they elect village panchayat pradhan mla and mp and then elected person take responsibility for overall development educational status of bheel tribal groups is not satisfactory only 34.5% bheels are literate but the literacy among young generations is going to be increased bheel boys at the present state are found to reach in different levels of education to reach them in mainstream of national life different schemes are being implemented by government to set up better school infrastructure facilities and to give effective teaching learning environment in different schools every school premise is set up with few of buildings consisting of inner space for classrooms but unfortunately electric connection is not accessible there hand pumps are used to collect drinking water toilet facilities are available without proper sanitation playgrounds in all schools are available but boundary wall is not found there all schools do not have ramp with handrail toilet and water source for disabled children blackboard and other teaching materials and a small library are found in each school ict is not available there due to unavailability of electric connection there both local and outside teachers are teaching and mostly teachers are permanent but their number is not enough as per rte act 2009 as the reason of poverty children are to involve in different type of works like cultivation domestic activities caring of siblings and as much reason their children cannot go to school which increase dropout as remedial measures teachers sometime visit the homes of absent students encourage them and hold special classes to fulfill their curricular gap there is no special provision related to curricular and co-curricular activities for children with disabilities teachers used to hold monthly and sometime quarterly meeting with parents through such meeting they try to aware the parents on different issues such as improvement of children in reading and writing progress of understanding the concepts evolution results punctuality of children strategies for learning improvement etc medium of instruction is hindi while some teachers also use bheeli dialect in order to promote understanding 
of students in some cases teachers belonging to non tribal community are unable to understand the tribal language which creates a communication gap between the teachers and the students and makes obstacle for their understanding teachers prepare lesson plans before teaching use various teaching aids at the time of teaching encourage students participation through group activities interact with students in the classroom for improving their learning etc they sometimes use local arts and crafts folk song music and dance folk tales organize paper pencil test etc to promote learning of students most of the smc members in schools belong to bhil community they sometimes visit school to monitor punctuality of students and teachers ptm can rarely pedagogical issues but they are involved in developing school infrastructure facilities they also try with the best to install ict facilities in schools in spite of their busy schedule some of the parents notice the school activities and support the teachers for explaining curricular activities through local games they also appreciate that their wards not only enjoy but also learn much more throughout their games parents specify that sometime they are not given information about ptm or sometime they are not enabled to attend the meeting due to busy schedule of their farming activities overall it may be said that still bills are succeeded to preserve their rich indigenous culture their enormous efforts are accomplished to improve their educational and economic status keeping in view it expected that very soon they will achieve their desired goals and lead a happy and prosperous life vidya dadati vidayam vinaya dayati patratam पात्रत्वात नमापनोति धनाधर्म तथा सुखम नमस्कार, नमस्कार।